I wasn't yours. I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back, I'm going, I'm going back to who I was before. Hey guys and welcome and or welcome back to my channel. When I say I'm struggling, I mean I'm struggling today, okay? Um, period came about a week early and it came full force, okay? When I tell you chest feels like spots cave in, coochie feels like spots fall out. So I'm gonna get through this video the best that I can. But as you can see by the title today, I am recommending setting powders based on what your concern is. The best one I would give for each category. So if you guys wanna know more about what I'm talking about, let's go. Setting powder is one of my favorite products because you know, there are so many different versions that can be used for different reasons, no matter what your skin type is, right? Now, of course, I have oily skin and I forgot to bring that powder over here and I really do not feel like moving to go get it, but um, a setting powder that is going to control the oil is very important for me. I've tried a lot and I would say the best setting powder when it comes to controlling the oil in your face, making sure it does not produce as fast. I am all types of discombobulated today. That's why it's taken me so long to start uh, filming. It's almost two in the afternoon. I'm usually done filming by now. I wouldn't be starting. Um, but when it comes to a setting powder that I feel is one of the best to control oil on your face, it is the Fenty Beauty Pro Filter Instant Retouch Setting Powder. It retails for 36 dual hairs, comes in eight shades, and I love the banana shade um, that it comes in because it's, it's a, no, I was gonna say true, but a really good banana shade as far as the actual shade color goes. It's that like beigey banana, not the yellow banana that we were using years ago. Um, and like I said, it's just very good at um, oil control. Baby, you put that on your face, it's oil's not going to show throughout the day. The only thing is if you use too much or if it's really not for your skin type, especially if you have dry skin, anything like that, especially dry skin under the eye, because you might have oily skin, but like me, under eyes a little bit more dry, you use just a little too much and baby, it's gonna be looking real on your face. Um, so that's why I kind of made these two different where that is one that you go for if you are looking for a setting powder that is really going to control the oil throughout your, throughout the day. But for some reason, you might just like a matte finish on your face. You have the skin type that can handle a matte finish where it won't dry out your skin um, and you won't start trying to overproduce to compensate for the oil that's being dried out of your face by the powder. So if you're not looking for that one because it's going to control oil throughout the day, but you are looking for a powder that is going to mattify your face, I would go with this one size ultimate blurring setting powder that retails for $34. It comes in six shades. This is the pink shade. I also have the yellow shade as well in this one. This is a very good mattifying powder. Mattifying powder. I already told y'all I'm struggling. Okay, just go with it, okay? Um, this is another one, especially if you use the rest of one size products all together in your face that could dry out your face because everything is matte. But I feel like this is a good matte powder if that is the finish that you are going for on your face. Does it help you um, control oil throughout the day? Yes, it does. I feel like Fenty does it a little bit better when it comes to that. But I don't know if that makes sense. I don't like the matteness of the Fenty, but I like the oil control. I like the matteness of the one size of how it looks on your face. Um, but like I said, I feel like Fenty does just a little bit better on oil control because it's sucking everything out of your face. So if you are going for a mattifying powder, um, like I said, if you're not looking for one that's uh, necessarily going to oil control, but you like the look of a matte finish, apparently 2016 makeup is making a comeback. Um, or, you know, you want both. One that won't dry out your face as much as Fenty might because it is so matte, um, but will also do a little oil control as well. Then there is this one right here, the one size powder. Um, I've tried the pink and the yellow version. I think either shade works. This isn't one that I'm wearing um, for the shade color. This is more so like what the formula is going to do as far as wear goes. Now maybe you have dry skin or you have dry under eyes, like I just said, because the rest of my face is, baby, it's a lot going on in my face, okay? I got oily skin in my T-zone, um, regular skin around the perimeter, I got sensitive skin, under eyes are dry. So, if you are looking for a powder to set your under eye, maybe you're not trying to bake, um, you just want, you know, a powder you can press in. That's what I usually recommend, um, pressed 
powders to you guys but you're just trying to set your face like I said maybe you have dry skin um, maybe you have dry under eyes or even if you have normal skin but you don't want to mattify you don't want anything like that you don't want to bake I would recommend this Urban Decay All Nighter pressed powder it looks like this on the inside I believe this is a universal shade I don't know how you feel about universal but mm. the all-nighter waterproof setting powder this retails for $35 and yes this is a, this is the only shade that it comes in um like I said maybe it's just something about you know the formula of a pressed powder but if you are looking to just kind of set your under eye so you know nothing creases nothing moves anything like that this is a really good powder for that I feel like whether you have oily which i have oily skin um dry skin normal skin this is one of those like natural finish powders where you're just you're not trying to do too much you don't need too much on the under eye or you don't care for too much on the under eye you're just trying to set it and go or it's more so for your skin type on the under eye i feel like this is a good one and i mean universal shade i know a couple people who use this that range in skin tones so you know i still feel how i feel about that whole universal thing but this is one universal that they begin to pass on because at least it's not giving casper on the under eye for flesh but while we're on the topic of pressed powder now i said that's more so just natural you know you're just trying to set your under eye to have a nice base that type thing but if you are looking for a pressed powder that is going to give you that blurred airbrush i feel like as soon as i said airbrush you should have known where this was going miss charlotte tilbury airbrush flawless setting powder is the setting powder if you want that filtered look the urban decay like i said natural finish your skin but better the whole clean girl aesthetic thing that's going on that's what that one's for if you want a simple under eye set if you want the dramatics the you, you we know you got makeup on but it looks flawless type makeup that is what this powder is going to do. Honorary mention to the Pat McGrath wearing powder because that one is very, 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 very close second. But I'm so sorry, Auntie Charlotte is taking the cake on this one. I would open this. This one is in the shade four. I thought I grabbed the one that's in the shade three, which is what I'm wearing on my face today. But um, I grabbed four and I can't open it because it, it fell and it shattered. It always happens to me. I am always shattering um, pressed powders but i can use the shade three i can use the shade four especially because of uh, my under eye i'm going for that brightened look but i forgot to tell you about this powder it is the airbrush flawless finish setting powder it retails for 48 dual hairs comes in four shades they also come in mini sizes which are 28 shades so if you don't want to spend 48 dollars for a powder this size they do have a mini which you know you'll probably get a good amount of uses out of for 28 dollars which for Charlotte Tilbury, you know, take what you can get, baby. Is it falling out of the thing? Oops, hold on, let me put this down. For someone like me, like I said, who has this whole combination going on on my face, a pressed powder to really like set the tone and then baking on top of it be doing it for me, okay? So I'm gonna stick to it. Um, so it does work also if you want to put a loose powder on top of it. It just does what it needs to do. And then, you know, I've been using the airbrush setting spray as well, baby can't go wrong with it now the last two I have are based on color so if you are if you need a setting powder based on the color for setting your under eye um the two that are the most talk well there's a couple there's translucent there's all of that but you know for me the two that rotate the most are pink and yellow so when it comes to the best pink powder that I've tried so far I'm gonna have to give it to Miss Huda Beauty cherry blossom stayed sold out for a reason and then when I tried it I was like okay this is this is why it stayed sold out. Why pink looks so flattering? Because a lot of people are like, baby, what is pink going to do on my face if I use it? Or pink is going to leave me crazy. It's going to look like blush on the face, which the 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 way where you place blush has evolved throughout the years. If you've seen, if you've seen, you know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. Um, but when I tried this, I was like, oh, okay. I see how it looks and I also see why some people might prefer it over yellow because sometimes especially depending on the yellow and also um, especially because sometimes people are using it to brighten the under eyes so you're using something that is a lot lighter than your skin tone it's already that type of cool undertone it can give a little ashy especially on um, pictures and stuff like that so I could see the appeal to pink this one right here i tried a couple pink y'all see how that um one size is also pink but this one 
this gonna do it for me. But if you are looking for a yellow that is going to do it for you, y'all already know Laura Mercier Honey Setting Powder. Um, you guys know how I felt about the original um, translucent shade. I was like, okay. I mean, that's kind of how I feel about the formula in general. It's nice, you know, it'll do what it needs to do. Spectacular. Mm. But when they launch this, it's the color for this one. This is the perfect banana uh, shade for a setting powder for deeper complexions. This one, <laughs> baby. I wore this the other day. Um, so if you saw that TikTok, where I was going to the peanut butter thingy, this is the this is the powder I use for that one. It is the Laura Mercier Translucent Loose Setting Powder. It retails for forty three dollars. Baby, this thing gonna cost fifty dollars soon. Like, um, it comes in four shades. It's got three mini shades, and like I said, this is specifically on color. If you are looking for a very good yellow powder that is not actually like Sasha Buttercup yellow this beige like this color that Fenty color but like if I had to pick between this color and the Fenty color I'm going with this one this is the best yellow powder if you're looking for a yellow powder and yeah y'all that is it for this video I just wanted to give you some different options based on different concerns that you might have for why you are looking for a new setting powder um I did realize I could have done translucent as well but um I can't think off the top of my head to just throw it out there. So if you want to know, just ask in the comments and then by then I should know which one I would recommend. Um, and let me know any that you would recommend for any of the categories that I just mentioned. Make sure to thumbs up, comment, subscribe, notification bells down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.